At 10, hospitals nationwide and here in Amarillo are being flooded with children with mental health issues. News Channel 10, Sydney Batslov joins us now. And Sydney, what have you learned? Stacy Gregg, the mental health crisis is happening all over. A recent study of millions of hospital admissions in the U.S. found mental health hospitalizations increased by nearly 26% over a 10-year span. It also found a large rise in those hospitalizations involving suicidal or self-harming behavior. Northwest Texas Health Care System Behavioral Health tells me it's seen a rise in children receiving inpatient services. It has gotten to the point that we have no other choices and that inpatient is probably our best and safest option. One area licensed professional counselor believes the rise in hospitalizations is due to a lack of resources. I've spoken with actually several teenagers in the past few weeks and all of them Several of them have been in a state where they needed more than just counseling once a week. But the only options in our area are either being fully hospitalized or just managing by themselves. Another reason could be parents may not know signs to look for, so children are unable to receive help sooner. Contrary to popular belief, um, most of the time when a child makes an outcry that they're in, that they're struggling with hurting themselves or have a desire to hurt themselves in some way, they are not looking for attention. They are looking for help. Eric Martinez at Northwest says many children he sees say their parents do not believe them when they cry for help. Kids can be depressed. They can feel anxiety. This can happen. Mental health experts say talking and listening to your children is important. Plus, pay attention to any shifts in behavior that may indicate they need help.